Hello, good afternoon everyone. I'm again Dr. Farooq from ER Skill Lab. Today I would like to demonstrate and discuss about ABG, arterial blood gas. Three things, how to do ABG, why do we need it, and is there any alternative? First of all, the equipments right here. So we have an ABG, we have ABG syringes, this comes in pre-packed. So if you open the pack, it comes in with a filter, syringe, and there is a lock system. We probably don't have these syringes in Bangladesh. Or we probably don't have any pre-packed ABG syringes in Bangladesh. I, I, I believe this is something we need in every hospital in Bangladesh, ABG syringes. Obviously, we need cleaning, clean prep, for cleaning some gauze, some tapes, okay? Before we start, we need to ask the patient, ask for the consent of the patient if they, she has the capacity or he has capacity, if it is not unconscious, yes. Informed consent, then we need to check pulses, locate, and also do the Allen's test to confirm the collateral circulation. Okay, so once we feel the pulse and we know where to go, so wear some gloves, gown mask ideally, it's an, uh, ideally it should be an aseptic procedure, gloves, gown mask, clean prep, okay. So actually you can feel the pulse distally, proximally, and then put the needle distally. So, well, how I do it, so I have this needle, syringe, okay, we need to create a vacuum before we go in, take this cover out, okay, so if you are right-handed, you can actually go 45 degree with this bevel end of the needle up, 45 degrees, so if I'm right-handed, I can use my left hand to feel the pulse and the, and, and proximally and go in distally. So if I put my finger here, I can I can go this point, this position very easy. So it's in the same line of feeling the pulse. 45 degrees, go in, not too deep. It should come, you can see blood's coming up. Okay? So it's automatically filled in. Take the needle out and then obviously you, need, you can put some gauze and tape. This technique here is, this is a lock for the safety of so once you lock it, this is locked, take the syringe out, you need to throw it in the sharp bin. This is the filter. Once the filter is in, the gas out, there is, should be no bubble, okay? There should be no bubble, no gas, and all this blood is filled in into the top. Then it goes into the gas machine. Two things you need for all ABG is the patient's temperature and FiO2. In room air is 21%. Once you put in the gas machine and put the information in, the machine will print you out the ABG details, like one of these pages. I'm not gonna show details, I'll tell you. So all these ABG printouts here has multiple things. Now come to the next question, why do we need it? We need ABG to save life. There are certain things that can kill, uh, ki kill patient. If you don't do it in quickly and timely manner, you might miss obvious diagnosis that you could treat and prevent the patient going into cardiac arrest, okay? Couple of things. DKA, without VVG or ABG, you cannot diagnose DKA, you need pH. 
you need bicarbonate, you need the glucose, everything is coming in this ABG results. So DKA, respiratory failure, is it type 1, type 2? Yes. The only benefit on ABG is to diagnose type 2 respiratory failure. PCO2, it's very important to have an ABG if you want to know the PCO2 level, the correct one. Other than that, VBG is fine. So, what else? So, how about sepsis, dehydration? Yes, we can have lactate levels. We can clearly say this patient is septic, dehydrated, his clinical context matches to this patient. How about electrolytes, sodium, potassium, calcium, chloride? Any abnormality we can correct. If it is hypokalemia, hypohypernatremia, we can have an idea. Bicarb, PCO2. We have carboxyhemoglobin and methemoglobin level. So in general, and hemoglobin level as well. So is, is the patient hemorrhaging? Is there metabolic or respiratory acidosis or alkalosis? Is the patient hypoglycemic, DKA or HHS? All these can kill patient. What is the alternative of ABG? Well, maybe you're not good enough for ABG. There is nobody there in the department to do ABG. Do a VBG, use the same syringe. Venous blood, take the blood, run to the gas machine. Only thing might be the PCO2 might be, uh, or pH is a bit lower than ABG, but you still have a good idea, okay? That's how it goes. ABG saves life. Do it every day, interpret it with all these parameters, make sure that you don't miss the life-saving diagnosis and start treatment even before you get the official blood result. That's what, what we do. This, this printout in an example, one of the patients we had alcoholic ketoacidosis who had pH of 7, lactate 21, bicarb 12.3, known alcohol, uh, alcoholic patient, ketones is high. So we, we, we start to treat them. This is, we know that this is not a DKA or HHS. So it's very quick, very handy. You can do it in minutes. To do ABG, it takes minute or even less than a minute. Run it. In a couple of minutes, the patient get the treatment before they go into cardiac arrest. Okay? So... Thank you all. Any questions, any comments, anything, please let me know. Okay? I'll see you next.